all right hey everyone let's look at the market cap today nft r finance is it a bit of a downtrend now so is every single other coin yes in the past day we have been seeing you know a recent dip we have to important the video to check out you know the volume still hasn't been updated probably in the future also volume market cap we can see you no know, self-reported regulating supply is still high but we're expecting a burn pretty much soon which i will be making some announcements tomorrow is a new live stream and the top 20 questions will get $100 each. So that's, uh, I think, like $1,000, right, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty awesome. If we check over here, we're seeing Bitcoin, you know, being on the low. So if Bitcoin and Ethereum and Binance coin is low, then expect other coins to follow. The I don't think any coin has been up so far except, you know, some coins that are basically a bit lower in the ranks so you know they can be a bit less via a bit more volatile so what we have to look over here is nft finance and their art is much bigger than we thought and that nene has made a new video that i wanted to check out really really awesome art finance or enter.art is going to be so much more massive than we thought yo today we're not gonna talk about that fucking token price though. All you need to know is my last video was released here. The fucking wells came up for air here and Elon Musk tweeted here. We got more important shit to deal with. Stop dreaming about my fucking voice. Turn this guy into a believer. No one is asking me if I actually want a fucking job. Brilliant. God level status. If you watch this video, I'll be proud of you. My voice will touch the ears of the deaf. This fucking made me laugh. This guy thought I was a one pump chunk. I don't fucking think so. I got content for days. That Konene is the real artist, my guys. Please, baby. This made my day. Am I the fucking Wolf of Wall Street? They call me Taco Man. I never fucking left, bro. You better fucking watch this. Omae no sashimi wa psycho desu. Disrespect the fucking goat. One more time. I had to Google this. Clean yourself up. That shit's disgusting. You better comment on this video or you're fucking banned. It's the 21st century. Grow the fuck up. Fuck. I made my last video here though fucking fud yo everybody remember back when we had this website all the fudders were screaming scam alert website is trash scam alert devs are artists but can't even make a decent website scam alert the devs have been promising us a new website and token logo for weeks and this shit is fucking fresh baby yo wait yo actually no cap the new site looks so freaking awesome compared to the last one that looked like it was made by a wordpress on i don't know html if any coders out there it was basically so so simplistic now this site this is the real deal this is like pure art this should be put as an nft token it's by itself hey anyone else here seeing the similar fud about this token and safe moon price drop scam need a new website scam token logo sucks scam ama sucks scam wells oh, dumping scam yo taco nobody gives a fuck about that i thought you said nft art was gonna be massive oh yeah i forgot we're gonna talk about these top level domains fucking internet thanks to one lovely lady egod on twitter we have more information on how the devs plan to make this platform larger than anything else her concern for the community being scammed Damn. led to a tweet at they have also a website nftr hope you submitted patent as soon as possible sebastian and i hey sebastian this account still nft arts and identity nft dot art so really yeah there's already you know some sites having a similar actual thing so a patent is seriously needed to the ceo sebastian about obtaining patents then sebastian comes out of fucking nowhere with this we own all the domains we need enter is our platform so enter.art enter.audio and so forth that's really awesome because they have some big things planned of tweet stating that we have already obtained all of the domains that we need including that of enter.audio oh my fucking god now the community is all like whoa 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 yo ho hold the fuck up discord and reddit go on a massive domain hunt searching for these new top level domains that the developer so we can have you know enter dot what i'm guessing like everything's simple enter dot club enter dot website enter dot xy enter dot app now that would be awesome um enter dot info enter dot gg enter dot eu so many sites that could be on it <laughs> developers might have bought hold up hold up yo babe babe let me get the loop i'm about to fuck these fudders enter dot movie dot games dot video dot photography 
fun.theater. All of these sites redirect you back to the enter.art main. No way, no freaking way. Enter.games, okay. Enter.video, enter.photography. Those are some big projects. Like, this is big, big, big update. Like, this is huge. The community was actually able to find. But Taco, Taco, why the fuck should we care about this? What does it even mean when it redirects me back to enter.art? My FUD brains don't get it. Okay, let's enter dot theater. What exactly does this mean? Will you know it be a NFT token, basically a theater? Well, you know, just unimaginable. Will we will be able you know to watch theater plays with an NFT? Where we will be able to own a copy of the NFT? That's so exciting. Let's fucking talk about it so the taco man can open your fucking eyes. Pull up your internet browser. Got it? Okay, let's go. Type in g o g l e dot com. What happens? Takes your ass right back to fucking Google. I still don't get it. All right. Basically, these are domains that Google purchased and redirected to their actual sites just in case your little FUD finger. That's so, you know, so someone doesn't buy enter dot, I don't know, X or something and then tries to make his own platform or tries to make a scam site that's happening a lot like Binance and, you know, someone types in Bonance or uh, is getting a phishing email, like everything redirects to the real site and, you know, really lowers the type of scams made a mistake while you were typing in that URL. But what does this have to do with enter.art? You're still not getting it? All right. Think about it. The fact that the devs are scooping up these domains like they're fucking candy shows that they truly want to capitalize on every aspect of the market when it comes to NFTs. This platform will truly be an all-in-one, one-stop shop for anyone who wants to buy or sell any kind of NFT. It's logic, really. Get that's awesome. Imagine how big of a market reach they will have and how much of the coin will be burned. They will still have to use, you know, NFT art tokens. And if so much coin is getting burned, if like games and everything like that, that would be simply crazy. Games, movies, photography, art, music. This isn't just an art store. It's a fucking entire e-commerce store too. Think Etsy, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, Netflix, Apple Music, all on one storefront like Amazon, baby. This. So a lot of questions are out there like this is like the same thing as all other NFT platforms. Not really. They only cover one aspect. So OpenSea only covers art, right? But NFT art or enter.art or enter.games will cover everything. Even, you know, something for the for the artists, something for the developers, everything overall. They want to cover it every single thing nft related and this is what really gets me you know the trust into nft overall this is a place where you can buy anything with an nft still not fucking sold okay let's talk about the other artists that i intentionally left out of my previous video while i did research on them anetta salamandra musician that's awesome we finally have a new artist anetta salamandra that would be so exciting like <laughs> i know a lot of you guys don't know her but like they choose very specific artists that they have a huge trust in and this is this is like really exciting news and, and artists based out of you look at this look at this it's like so so beautiful I'm, I'm sure this you know nft art will probably get sold for a lot um i have no doubts about it posted on november 16 and you know being sold as an nft art token crane 32 hours by car from norway confirm marquee art local artist signed on yo Taco Nene is just dropping this artist like it's nothing. Artist Dreamer Oslo Norway. This is my art account if you wish to see my other creations. 9k followers, but look at this. This is like so, so beautiful to be honest. On the beta. Confirm. Kumud's Frex. Okay, let's let's check. Let's check. This is me. Correct. My website is Mercur Art if you want to see more of my work. Confirm. Okay. Kumud's Frex. This is quite possibly the most important artist that we have now i confirm the artwork is from me prem kumu the new site name please use joy of the earth so this is basically the joy of the earth you know they've been having these pictures already they didn't want to reveal the artist but it seems like they are leaking but that's a good thing now we know who the artists are and i think this is a huge thing you know a lot of people have said these are some fake images taken from you know random sites or something like that and you know it, and it's a scam they're doing a scam in norway they're probably just taking random ass images but it seems like they're actually very specific with the art they choose so really really awesome joy of the earth found a date why it's simple she currently resides in taiwan that's fucking marketing 
confirmed, baby. Get this is really good if they pick, you know, from multiple countries. So, for example, if they pick someone from the Balkans or they pick someone from Asia, if they pick someone from USA, this is a big, big opportunity to expand your market. And I think they're actually doing that so far. We have Norway, Norway, you know, I think we have Netherlands and we have you know taiwan so asia that's really really awesome hopefully you know these are just the few artists they have and they have a lot more planned this is awesome that fud the fuck out of here now i don't like to speculate but i'm gonna do this one time we know that kumud's frex is from the china region which also means that we know that nft art are trying to tap into that fucking chinese market if you pull up the new nft art website on your mobile or on your internet browser and zoom in you'll see this zto baby but yeah i never know i never did know what this art actually is but it says like s z f o's taco what the fuck is zto and why does it matter hear me out nfts are also used to provide proof of ownership for physical assets zto is a large shipping company based in china this as far as i can tell is quite clearly dollar sign zto dollar sign which just so happens to be the fucking stock ticker for zto if this is the case then it's likely that the devs are reaching out to shipping companies like zto to have physical assets purchased in the china region delivered to buyers no way no way this could all be incorporated directly into the site making it even more easy for buyers and sellers to make transactions for physical items this coincides with the fact if that is true and you own a physical copy of the nft and a digital copy of the nft that is massive that is game changing actually like a lot of these sites that offer so far only offer digital and doesn't mean anything but if you offer a physical token this actually gains a lot of trust to the normal people as well that don't know that much about cryptocurrency so there's been a lot of allegations toward nfts basically saying well nfts they only are digital and you're basically buying you know an art for 70 million that's just a piece of picture well, if you get a physical token, it's much, much different. So if you get a physical copy and if you get a like a digital copy or digital token, a specific unique token, that would be simply game changing. Like seriously, good research, my man that most of the artists that we have found don't just make digital artworks they also make physical artworks and two that were mentioned here today have physical shops that they sell their artwork out of but wait there's one more speculation on this photo i got a message on discord and he's all like yo taco you see that orange shit yo, on the web dude that's me that's me in the video that's awesome <laughs> it's basically inception see that orange cover on the nft art website and yeah i totally agree look at this we saw this before. You see that orange shit on the website? So I'm all like, yeah, I posted about it on Twitter already. And he's like, no, but wait, shit looks similar to something. So I'm all like, hit me, baby. Fucking Kanye West, the Life of Pablo album cover. Immediately, I pulled up the interwebs and searched for the artist who created this album cover. Fucking Peter de Polter. <laughs> Yo, I fucked that name up something decent. Instagram two photos similar to this one one is a spoof that he found on tumblr the other the original fucking album cover we know that boss logic has recognized this project so it's not unreasonable to assume that peter could also be coming on board as well that's so true that is massive massive research right now dude that's so good research and that's true like i just i'm at <laughs> this loss of words oh yeah and where is Peter from? Belgium, baby. So it's in the range of areas that we know the devs have been promoting the platform. The reality here is that the devs are marketing to all areas of the world to get people on board the platform. They're getting artists of all magnitudes to sign up and three of the artists mentioned here today are super special because they coincide with the dev statement that they want to make this platform available to everyone. All three have a decent sized followings, but are not huge by any means. Let the Fudders FUD because we're about to hop on this rocket ship and take the fuck off. Fudders. Imagine after beta how much of an increase we see. I'm about to prepare my rocket launch, again not financial advice, but this looks seriously promising. Especially, you know, with the artists revealed, our artists leaked, this is just like, ba-bam, like this is such good news. There's gonna FUD though. Safe Moon. Safe Moon. Where the fuck the Safe Moon video at? Gentlemen, welcome to Safe Moon. 
first rule of Safe Moon. You only tweet about Safe Moon. Second rule of Safe Moon. You only fucking tweet about Safe Moon. Third rule of Safe Moon. If you see FUD, you fuck that FUD. Yeah, basically Safe Moon is Third. you know, if you're a crypto YouTuber, you have to talk about Safe Moon at some point. It's so big. But you know, the smaller project they need love. They need, you know, they're a little baby that need nurturing. And so far, you know, as that baby grows into a big, massive boy and brings strong crypto gains, that's where I'm in. That's where, you know, there's a lot of money. Just wanted to say that. And if this looks so promising, especially if they start to ship, you know, digital assets. I'm not sure about this one, uh, the ZTO. So if we go back over here zto dollar dollar it also looks like bitcoin to me but i definitely think the same artist is you know the one that produced kanye west stuff so do let me know what you think of this one this one gets me super hyped especially because they have an announcement coming tomorrow which i will say for my next video but this is really really exciting and i think if we go Yo, over babe. here oh sorry about that if we go over here um it's almost that time of the week again a new ama tomorrow at 10 p.m gmt if you have any questions about enter share them with us in the comment to this post and i'll be making a video about this tomorrow the best 10 questions will be answered and rewarded with 100 dollars in enter nft art so uh, this is really really awesome we're gonna be seeing a lot of questions answered especially probably they have a small announcement to make so be sure to subscribe maybe and see you next time